It's not at all cold and it's very soupy. You know, we've got some fog and uh, lots of humidity out there. Temperatures running from 61 out at Naval Air Station to 60 out in George West. So everybody's pretty much equal. The thing is the visibility. Look at that. Everybody inland is uh, at a quarter mile or less or half mile or less. Uh, and then even in the city, we're having fog problems as well. Uh, from the island over to Flower Bluff, over to the airport, over all the way to Cal Island. So this morning, you just got to drive a little bit more cautiously because of the fog that's affecting everybody. We are still under uh, some very mild air. In fact, the mildest air in the country right about now, you can see how we're looking at high temperatures uh, well into the upper 70s today because of this storm that's in North Texas. Now you'd think, okay, it's gonna bring us some rain. Now nah, we're just too far south. It's kind of a weird uh, alignment. The low is right here. We're gonna pick up a west wind. That's what's, why it's gonna be so warm before the frontal system comes through tonight and tomorrow is gonna be cooler. So we're in this warm sector right about here uh, of, the, um, of the low. Now the low is producing some shower activity up north. We had a sprinkle or two yesterday, but that's about it. We watched the west coast. We've been talking about this yesterday. Massive Pacific storm rolling ashore. And this is um, up in Port Orchard, Washington. Uh, you can barely see the debris going around. An actual tornado uh, occurred as the intense low pressure came ashore and caused all kinds of problems. Now, tornadoes in Washington state are extremely rare, but it was part of that uh, massive storm system we've been talking about that's affecting them. They had, uh, you know, 40 foot uh, surf. They had uh, 75 mile an hour winds, and now that thing is blasting ashore. Now you'd think, okay, do we have anything to do with it? Not really, because you can see how the jet Right here, all these winds, all the isobars are moving in that direction, so it's up and over us. We're only looking for this one to come through. Um, the interesting thing is that for the next five to seven days, all the way through Christmas, I don't see any cold weather. As a matter of fact, I don't think you're going to need your coat for the next four or five days through Christmas Day. Here's what we've got for today, Wednesday, a few showers to the north. The frontal system will first give us the west wind. That's why it'll be hot. And then tonight, the northwest wind comes in. And for Thursday, we're going to pick up a very strong northwest wind. So we're going to be with uh, gusty winds and low humidities again. We don't have a red flag warning yet. I'm just telling you that we're going to be very close to it. Uh, so I just want you to know that it has not officially been issued yet. So here is your uh, forecast uh, for all the way to Christmas Day, about the morning that you're going to be playing with your new trucks. OK, so here we go. Uh, we are going to be warm today with a 76. Wind shift comes in tonight. Tomorrow, only 69 as a high temperature, a little bit cooler, not too bad, but very windy by Thursday night and into Friday. Friday is the first day of winter in South Texas, but a very nice weekend in store, sunny, mild with temperatures in the 70s. And on Christmas Day, slight chance of a sprinkle in a 73, so won't need no heavy coats this coming weekend. That's your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy.